some play. Um, I've actually stopped playing for a year. So this is really a comeback for me, even in Hong Kong. Um, I've been playing with a band uh, called William Melvin and the Search of Tour. So we're also going to be playing this album uh, on July, sa Hong Kong naman. Um, my day job is I'm a writer for a PR agency. Uh, as you know, it's very corporate. So, ano, parang after three, four years ago, uh, I started as a, um, when, I, when I moved to Hong Kong in 2014, I wrote for a newspaper. So I wrote features and covered some stories. So I was a journalist for about two years. And then I went to the PR world. Um, as you know, yun nga, um, very, very corporate siya. So I felt the need to go back and play, sing music again, write music again, first and foremost. So I, I call myself first and foremost as a songwriter, more than a singer or a musician. So yun. Uh, as you as you may have, uh, I, I hope that the lyrics, uh, when you read them, uh, it's much more like, uh, it's more of the words that I want to highlight. So, you know, so that's what I've been doing since 2013. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah. Any more questions? I'm here to do my job again. Yeah. Hello. I just have a question though for, does, um, I'm actually going to get back to the way you're writing songs. Thank you. Speaks from the heart. So I guess the other part would be like the melody part. Okay. So because I find it, you know, really amazing that you have this wonderful melody. So, by the way, my name is Anne Sora. I think yeah. my voice is loud enough for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. yeah. so yeah, so how do you come up with the melodies of your concerts? It's always very interesting and different. Um melodies, uh, I I have a little music uh, theoretical music background. Uh, so I, before I studied theater sa UP Diliman, I studied a few years of music sa UST. So I kind of got the, the ano, uh, what do I, how do we call this? The theoretical side that you understand music, how it's written, how it's ano, alam ko siya. But when I, when I write songs, I don't, I don't think about that that much. Kumbaga, I let the influences in me, uh, go out. Kumbaga parang uh, my influences are very ano, eh, very melodic din. Eh. Paul McCartney is one ano, uh, one influence. Lyrically, my biggest influence is Bob Dylan. So, I I listen to a lot of stuff na parang kumbaga parang may, may database na of, of where the melodies would go. So, parang sana ang effect nun is parang siyang it's all from the heart and not from the mind. So, I, I'm going for that. So hopefully, you'll continue. Uh, yeah. And just a follow-up, uh, your song will go uh, 1023. Yeah. So my interpretation was that it could be two things. Like, is it a date or is it like a particular time? Like, is it 1023 like the time or is it 1023 like October 23? Well, uh, I wrote this song as a gift to, to a couple. Okay. The, uh, to a couple I'm like, very much friends with. And their anniversary was October 23. So, yun lang. Sorry, I'm seeing it. Yeah, that's just that happens to be my assistant. Oh, very good. So, pwede mo siyang i-gift din sa akin. October, that's October 23. Actually, nung sinusulat ko nung 1023, so I really wanted it as as a gift to them. No? Pero, nauna ko siyang isulat, uh, personally, um, Pero wala akong may title sa kanya. So parang for 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 uh, for quite some time medyo untitled yung yung song. Tapos nung ano nung kinasal sila, so sa sa ko I, I wanted to give them this gift so I I'll, I'll take that as a title. Sige po. I enjoy this. So what time are you? Yes, more questions of <laughs> trying to get the mic free. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, so, uh, I'd just like to ask, because uh, the album is actually challenging, and plus the fact that it's independently produced, but was there a time that you actually considered um, having a, uh, you know, a partner with, uh, let's say, a music label? Well, I value I, the, the first 
thing I value as an artist is the freedom. So even even if siguro I could have uh, I could have talked to some people. Um, but number one, the music industry then today is very much different. Na parang if you don't have uh, a steady following, na uh, automatically bibili ng gawa mo, hindi ka rin ma, hindi mabilis na masasign ka or mapoproduce ka. So that's number one. Um, uh, number two, of course, I could have partnered with other producers too. But the thing is, yun nga, um, as, a, as a writer, as an artist, I very much uh, empathetic knows this. Kumbaga parang ano, parang, parang I want the freedom of doing things uh, without as much outside voice, voices as possible. Except the ones I really, really do trust. So for the process of this album, um, so I wrote the songs by myself. Tapos I got together uh, a group of musicians, of Filipino musicians in Hong Kong. Tapos uh, yun, uh, I, I made them study the songs. Tapos we put it all together in the studio, recorded it. Uh, actually, it's very much home recordings. Uh, meaning every every instrument that you're going to hear are recorded at home. So, lahat kami, meron kami sari-sari home studios. So, mm -hmm. I recorded the, the basic demo sa studio ko. Then, ang nirecord lang namin na yung drums sa uh, proper na studio. Then, ano na, uh, patong-patong na from musicians. Uh, yung bass nilagay na from the home studio, tapos yung guitar. And then, yung process yung um, so it's very much kumbaga, artistic freedom. Yun talaga yun. So that's what uh, what I want to be experiencing experiencing every time. So parang ang ang direction that I want to take is every year I just want to put out something like this, like one album per year. Um, it's not about it's not about if if it makes money or something. It's really just for me to practice the art and for mm -hmm. for the small group of people hopefully kayo din. Uh, for a small group of people to really appreciate it and uh, digest it. Thank you. I, I didn't, we didn't catch his name. Yes, we have a answer. Ah, Florencio. Thank you. Thank you so much for your question, Florencio. Yes. We have uh, <laughs> Brother Francis here with a question. Francis? Yeah. My question is, uh, from this uh, album, what's your favorite song? And can you tell us uh, the inspiration behind it, if you have it already? Yeah, I, I did not play my favorite. It, I did not play my favorite song from that album because it's very, and yung iba kasi very pandre. So it's gonna, it's not going to be translated well if I sing it solo. But the, my most favorite in this album is Miss Elizabeth. I think uh, it encapsulates uh, the album really well, like Sacred Profane Um uh, This is, Miss Elizabeth is a story of uh, an aspiring, well, it, the story starts as her being an aspiring star. And then she gets thrown into the showbiz life. And then, well, the, 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 the song will tell you what happened to her. So, my, that's my favorite kasi ano eh. Um, I've been trying to write more songs like this lately. Na parang I wanted to tell more stories. I wanted to deviate from the love songs and the, the, the more pop folk song side of me. Um, that I, I think I still want and should do that. Because the mga nakapanood ang mula sa one who listens to, to my work, uh, ito yung familiar mode nila for, from me. But I want to eventually uh, evolve into a more of a storyteller through songs and not be encapsulated in like, uh, mga asabina, which is, uh, I think it's still a good song until now, but I want to have more complex stories in my songwriting from here on. Thanks, Francis. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Any more questions? Yeah. I'm sure there are a few more out there. So. Do you follow up ones? Yeah. Yes, sir, Brother Axel. Hi, 
kung gagawa ako ng parang kanta for, uh, for a play, I want to write, ano, uh, um, yeah, here, here's my, ano, uh, uh, here's my David Bowie influences. Mm-hmm. Well, here, here's, here's how my David Bowie influences would come out. Um, I actually want to write a uh, very Hong Kong based musical, but I, I, I still don't have time, so it's not coming anytime soon. <laughs> Pero, I want to write a very Hong Kong based musical na medyo light siya. Uh, I want to make a superhero type of musical. I'm going to call it Boom the Adventures of Bombastic Japanese. Uh, so, I want to play with the idea of she's a domestic helper, but then she gets parang chemical radiation power. So, so it's going to be more like a quirky, uh, quirky superhero type of thing. So, parang ang, syempre, ano yan, syempre, kailangan mong ipasok yung mga tropes ng musical na may in love siya sa kung sino, tapos superheroes din sila. So, wala pa akong title doon, pero yun yun. Yun yung, yun yung idea ko for now. <laughs> Thank you, Axel. Yeah. Any more, any more questions, guys? Oh, yes, sir. I was just wondering, of course, I know there's so much thought process whenever you write those songs. So I would like to know from your perspective, when do you write the best? Is it when you're so sad or when when you're so happy? Sad. <laughs> well, I, I wrote my kumbaga, I wrote my most emotional songs when I was sad. Um, I think it's normal for artists to be more inspired and more ano, more kumbaga, mas may power minsan. Um, but lately, kumbaga, I will be the happy shiny one for you. Okay. It's still, it's still, it's still emotional, and I hope, and hopefully, it's powerful. I wrote it for a friend who uh, who uh, is suffering from uh, bi- bipolar depression. So it's much more, I don't know, uh, it's, it's it's much more. You're trying to be in a happy state for her, but yeah, yeah, mas powerful yung sadness, and not ano um kasi kasi I'm not put ang mga yari I would put myself in a box. I'm, I'm, I'm married and I know, uh, of course the family life is, is you, you should be more uh, you, can, you can't let yourself go like that but um, I get more inspired with sad stories from other people so even if it's not my experience I, I find power in more sad stories Anything else? So the question in the back of oh, home, I did this. Uh, don't you not want, or is this really an option for you not to do social, political, team? Well, uh, social, politically, um, I think it's possible, but I don't want to take sides, not because I don't have sides. It's just that, um, as Bob Dylan said, no, uh, parang sabi ni Bob Dylan noon, parang ayaw niyang magpakulong sa isang folk movement na isang side lang yun na rinimig. So, if I write songs like, for example, uh, Miss Elizabeth, it's social, it's, it's social commentary, it's, uh, it's very socially charged, but if you're talking of like social political things like uh, statement songs or something, um, it's not going to be in the form that's that's usual that that it is usually done. Because, uh, uh, we have lots of great folk protest songs, like the Jazz and Jagger, things like that. And uh, I, I listen to these things, but um, ako kasi, I'm more of I tell the story, I write the song, tapos ba- ibabalot mo siya na parang may in, in a nice package that you could make anyone listen. And then, when they're already listening to it, napaulit-ulit, tsaka nila may iisip na, ah, yun pala yun. So, for example, if you listen to Miss Elizabeth later, uh, you'll find out that it's very much a social commentary, more than anything else. So, it's not as straight as, as Tatsulo, but more of a blowing in the wind, right? 
Kasi I blow it in the wind is, it, it doesn't take any sides, but pero parang sinabi niya, ha? How many roads a man walk down before you call a man? So it's not really saying, ano, um, actually, meron akong nasulat dati ng medyo, ano, it's, it's, it's something like, Sinubukan ko na ba at kukuyin ang parona Maraming mga payong di mo na pinakinggan Sumunod sa mga payong na iyong siniluman ng tatanong Sinubukan ko na ba So that's one from my first album So parang makadisguise siya Parang, come on, you should speak up Whatever you believe in, you should speak up But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't spell it out for you. You know, like, you'll get it. I don't want to spell things out for you. I want to give it to you in a nice package, and then you open it, and then you discover more things as you listen to it. Fantastic. Thank you for that question, Tito Tuz, and that answer, William. Uh, are there any more questions? I'm sure there are people bringing who wants to find out some more. Brother Manu, you? Manu has a question. I love it. Um, it's not a question, it's something that I want to say. Because um, I, I, I heard your first album. And because yeah. and, uh, and I was there and I did something for you. You're really a poet, no? Thank you for that. Yeah, because I, I love it. Like, I will be the mirror of the sun and the shine on me. That's crazy. And it's so good. And uh, I just want to say that you, you've grown as an artist. Thank you so much. I mean, in short, Gumaling. Let's hope that it and also as a singer, because your voice is crazy, because there's a there's a signature to your voice. Like it's classic but it's new. I mean bago yung tamang mga pero parang anuman yun. Ano yun? 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 in a company like like he asked you yeah. if you thought of being in a in a music label label. Um because me myself as an artist, so many people want to manage me and get into my world, but the first thing they do is to change me. Yeah. yeah. It's like getting it's like look the mother come in and see that they oh but I'm not gonna be able to do it. But but you know so I understand your thing, but it's good that you know this, that you don't go there and, and just do it for money or business. You're doing it for passion. So that's why you don't care if it sells or not. Because it's an expression. But of course if it does, why not? Do I? If, it does, if it does on my own terms, why why not? Exactly. Parang yeah. ano um before I before I close out with another two songs, okay. So, um, yung gusto kong advocacy as an indie artist is that uh, more artists should be should think more like this. Parang, if you want money, you go somewhere else. Exactly. If you want money, you, you want go. Money, you want call center. Yeah, and there, kumbaga, you do whatever do whatever exactly. it takes exactly. for you to have money, so that you free your own. Uh, Para para niya eh. yeah. um, You find your own time to do your art as honestly yeah. and as pure as possible. Exactly. So that's I'm really cool. happy that you're saying this because it's it's very rare to encounter an artist such as you, the Filipinas. It's manami ng tapaka tapa box. Dahil gusto niya ng ng pera, and they're using art as a guise. But actually, balik pa dapat eh. You use the art as the truth, and then the guise is no money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Pero, so you're rare, and I and on my page, I'm gonna tell people about this drive that you have. Na dapat gising na natin yung mga ibang artists. Na dapat dito, kakanta ka kasi gusto mo mong express. Hindi ka gusto mong kumita. Thank you. So let's spread the word. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Brother Manu. Uh, any questions? Any more questions? Okay, one, one last question. Your song on Sabi Nila. So, this part of the song, Shang Bi the Most, when it comes to the Ayapari, was there like a particular moment that you don't want to let go? Wow. Sorry, I'm so impressed. Thank you for that question. Thank you for that wonderful question. I think we all have that as people. 
Um, the most honest answer I could give is the former loves. I, kumbaga, it did not. They did not work out for me. But there's always this, like tiny little memories that you don't let go because there's such lessons. So that when you find your own, your place in the world, as I did, parang all of those will inform you as you go along. So yeah, without, without specifically answering your question. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up this uh, set.